Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp. And this is my last project for my 13 spooky projects of Halloween. So this is number 13. It's a little treat holder. It will hold um, a square, one of the regular squares of Ghirardelli chocolates. Um, it will hold, I believe it will hold one of these. We're going to try and see if I can get that in there. Um, I know it'll hold the Skittles because I had Skittles, but somebody ate them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, you're going to need a piece of basic black. Okay, we're going to need a piece of basic black, and this measures, I believe it's two and a half by five and a half. Yes, two and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to bring in my Simply Scored. And I'm going to score this at two and a half and three. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in these little pieces here. And these are one by one and a half. And I'm going to score at a half an inch and one on both of them. So half an inch and one. Then I have, oops, put that back over there so I don't lose it. I have a uh, Monster Bash Designer Series paper, and this is two and a quarter square. Yes, two and a quarter square, and I have two of them. So I'm going to take my piece of basic black here, and I'm just going to fold on the square on the score lines, both of those. And then I'm gonna bring in my detailed trio punch and I'm using the corner rounder part and I'm gonna corner round all four, all four sides. Okay. Then I'm going to take my designer series paper and I'm just going to do two sides. So these will be my tops. Okay. All right. We're going to take this. I'm just going to add some glue. My glue's getting down there, but I just refuse to throw it away yet because I know there's still some in there. Okay, so we're going to put that right on here. And then I'm going to use this one. And do the other side. Then I'm going to take my two little tabs here and I'm going to fold on the score lines on both of them. All right, so I'm going to put glue on both of these tabs and it's going to go right down here. So it's best to use the glue so that you can like wiggle it around and get it where you want it. And I'm going to take my bone folder. And just wiggle it around where I want it. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Get that on there where I want it. And then I will 
I'll squish that one in there and use my bone folder. forgot to do something before I did that. Hmm. I think it's going to happen. Yep. Try not to rip it. I forgot to punch my hole for my ribbon. And you definitely need to do that beforehand you're not going to see any of this so I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about it okay I can probably still even reuse these yep all right so first before you put your sides on you want to take your detailed trio punch again and we're going to use this little um, hole right here. You're just going to slide that in and center it on either side so it looks the same and make yourself a little hole and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. You want to make sure you do that first because you're not going to be able to um, get your punch in there to do that if you put your sides on. All right, so let's try this again. I'm just getting practice. All right. So we'll put this side on there again. And then put that side down. Use my phone folder. Okay. And then we will do this side. our bone folder to press that down real good all right alrighty then <laughs> what not to do right okay so there you go there's your little treat holder all right now you're gonna take um, the boo to you stamp set and I'm using this little werewolf down here and I have already stamped him and then I took him to my um, brother scan and cut and I cut him out and uh but he'd be he's very easy to fussy cut so you could just fussy cut him it's very easy I have already colored one so you don't have to sit there and watch me color but I am going to tell you the colors so I have my light and dark smoky slate I use the light on his face and the dark for the rest of his body I use granny app light granny apple green for his shirt um, for his little nose, I used the ivory, and then for this part of his nose, I used the bronze. He dark basic black for his pants, and the light purple posy for his little, um, what's that thing called? Ascot, and his little pocket. Then I'm going to take some Wink of Stella, and I'm just going to give him a little bit of sparkle on his ascot and on his pocket. Okay, so that's what I used for the markers. Then I took our assorted googly eyes and I'm going to use 
let's see what ones I used the green ones on the other ones I will use the uh, purple ones on this one doesn't look like I have any green ones left I had a class yesterday and this is one of the ones that we did in our class I'm going to take my glue dot and I'm going to just kind of mush that up I'm going to put that on his eye and I'm going to take another one and do the same put that right over his other eye then I'm going to take one of the purple glue, uh, googly eyes here. If I can get them turned over. Okay. There we go. Get those nice and mooshed on there. Take this. First, let me take a scrap of Whisper White. My scrap here and my memento. And I'm going to take the Boo to You. And let's put that on the block. Gonna go right here. Good deal. Then I'm gonna take my one inch punch and I'm gonna punch that out. And then I'm gonna take my one and an eighth inch scallop punch with a piece of granny apple green. Punch that out. And then this is going to go on top of this with my glue. Right on top of my scallop. All right, so let's see. This fits in here. Yep, it sure does. I just kind of folded it up a little bit. That fits in there good. All right. Then, let's put these on here first. So I'm going to take a couple of glue dots, or not glue dots, dimensionals, or one big one. Put that on here. And this is going to go over here, just like that. And then I will take another glue dot. Looks like I only have the little ones left over here, so I'll just use one of those and put that on here. And that's going to go right down here. Then I'm going to take some of our Noble Peaked Cock Rhinestones, and these are in the uh, regular catalog. And I'm just taking one of these uh, green gemstones here. I'm just going to put that right down here. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put these back in here. i got to get my ribbon. So I'm taking the glittered organdy ribbon and I'm just going to put this in here. Might be easier to do this way. Put that in there. Here. And just make that however long you want. I'd 
say this is a good five or six inches here. All right, now this has is retired, but I like it went good with my um, little ribbon here. So you just can use the white um, baker's twine or just a piece of regular baker's twine. And I'm gonna tie that all the way down here. And make sure you put your treat in there first. a little bow all right give this a little trim here all right so here is the one that I just made is the one that I made earlier. Sorry about that. Yep, really cute. Okay, so I enjoyed my 13 spooky weeks, uh, sp goodness, 13 spooky weeks of Halloween. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. These little cut there. And uh, yeah, we're all done, unfortunately. Halloween is right around the corner. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great Halloween. Bye.